guys, it's John the Limit Exotics here. So, people have asked me a few times what an ovulation, or what people call an ovulation, looks like in ball pythons. So, I thought this girl was ovulating a couple days ago, but obviously she's actually gotten way bigger. So you can see, basically, about two-thirds down the body, there is a really big, almost looks like a football growing inside of the snake. And then if you look at the tail, you see how her tail is kind of sunk in? Kind of sucked in right at the end of the tail. So this is what people call an ovulation in ball pythons. Um, this girl was actually bred to a black pastel candino, so hopefully she kind of looks weird for an albino. I got this one as an albino, but it kind of looks off. Almost looks like a like a cinnamon or a black pastel albino to me, or maybe it's a granite albino, something like that. So hopefully with that uh, black pastel candino, that'll make some really nice babies. But um, anyhow, getting back to this, I've been told by a few people this isn't actually an ovulation. This is like the when the follicles really start to uh, puff up, and then the ovulation is actually after this has subsided. But regardless, this is a very good indication that your snake will lay eggs in the next couple months. And now she's getting kind of pissed off because I keep looking at her. Um, but just wanted to share that with you. I know a lot of people have asked me, but you see from that side angle right there, um, you can see how her whole body is almost lifted off of the uh, off of the paper. So that is what you're looking for. And also this tail suck right here. Obviously, this snake has not eaten um, any time recently. Um, if it had eaten like a really big rat, it would look very similar to that. So if it hasn't eaten in a while and it looks like that, that's a really good indication of uh, follicular development and an ovulation. So. Hope you guys learned something right there, and have a great day. Thanks.